get unready with me while I tell you a story about the time I went to jail. Now, my family is from Chicago, and I hate to be stereotypical, but them niggas love to fight. So we never could have like family reunion kind of situations because that shit always gonna end up in somebody throwing blows. But everybody this time was like, let's just get it together. Let's do it for the kids. Let's like have a nice time for the kids. So we all took a trip to Six Flags Great America, right? Um, I've never been a fan of roller coasters, but I also hate missing out. So we're going into my bathroom. I was like begging my mama to go, even though I know she could barely, barely afford to take us. This was like post 2008 recession. We end up going to Six Flags and I was nervous because my mama liked to drink and I knew that at some point this could end in a fight because my mama was always into it with my cousins. I never really got to see my cousins a lot because they were always, our moms were always on the outs. And you know how people say, oh, at every family reunion, there's that one auntie that's always starting shit. And if you don't know what auntie that is, it's your mama. It's my mama. So I was nervous, but you know, we got there. Everybody seemed in a good mood. Everybody was chill. Um, my mama wasn't drinking as much and we were having a pretty good time. But then the Indiana cousins showed up. I have these cousins from Indiana and I really hate to talk bad about them because one of them died, but I hated them. They were just annoying. I had a cousin named Maria, my name is Mariah, who was the same age as me also, but she lived in Indiana and she was just so desperate to fit in with me and my cousin Alexis who were, you know, cool, like we were best friends, but we just really did not like her. Like she smelled like pickles all the time. And her mom, Yolanda, we definitely knew was a crackhead, but nobody was saying anything. And she owned like a station wagon from like 1987. Now, most of the day actually went pretty chill, if I'm being honest. Like, yeah, I had to hide the liquor from my mama because I knew she drank too much. Even when I was a kid, I knew she drank too much. It was going to end up in a fight with somebody. We did at one point lose my little brother, but only for like 20, 30 minutes. Then we found him. And then, yeah, we did get racially profiled because it's Gurney, Illinois. You're going to get racially profiled. You a bunch of niggas in there. But all in all, it was a good day. So we were leaving. And everybody was like, we're going to take cars and we're going to meet back at a gas station in Chicago. Cool, right? Very chill. I was going to ride with my mama. I had had a very long day of being around people. And I just wanted to go back to my bedroom and be at peace and be alone, close the door and not speak to anybody for hours. Okay. But my cousin Alexis was like, hey ride with me and Maria and her mom Yolanda. I did not want to spend more time around Maria and I was actually pretty jealous because I was like Alexis why are you spending so much time with Maria? I was a child. She was like no come and I was like yeah uh, I'm gonna say no I'm gonna pass on this one and as I was walking away she said to me they have oatmeal cream pies in the car. Let me tell you something about me as a child. I was a fat child, just the way I'm a fat and an adult. But one thing, one thing, my biggest weakness when I was a child was a goddamn oatmeal cream pie. So of course, my ass hopped in the car with all of them, even though they only had like, it's a fucking station wagon and we was packed to the max and we was packed in that bitch like sardines, okay? Like there was no, not enough seatbelts. So we get maybe a couple miles away from the park, right? And there are sirens behind us. And I said, Lord, please don't let that be what I think it is. We pull the car over. They ask Yolanda to step out. Maria starts sobbing. And I am so fucking pissed at her, but I'm more pissed at myself because how the fuck did I allow myself to get into this situation over a fucking oatmeal cream pie? Apparently Yolanda had a broken tail light. And so when they pulled her over, they ran her plates and discovered, oh, she had some unpaid parking tickets. So they arrest her. They arrest this lady and leave all of us in the car. And now Maria, she is sobbing uncontrollably and so then they take all of the kids and again all of our parents my parents Alexis's parents they've gone 
They're in other cars. They're headed back to the mutual pre-agreed uh, upon meeting place. They're gone. So we are being now taken to a police station. Maria won't shut the fuck up. She keeps crying. And we're sitting there. And we're just sitting there. And we're just sitting there in the police station, cold as we got to call our moms. It's like 2006, 2007. Nobody knows phone numbers. I'm like 10 fucking years old. But then Alexis remembers her mom's phone number. So she calls her mom. And it's like two or three o'clock in the morning at this point saying, hey, um, we got arrested. Somebody has to come and pick us up because they have Yolanda in a jail cell because she has unpaid parking tickets. They say, OK, we'll be to get you real soon. Do you know that four hours passed before those people came to come and get us from the fucking police station? Now, I know Gurney, Illinois not close to Chicago, but it ain't that damn far. And so when they come and get us, and I asked my mama, what the fuck, what, what took y'all so long to come and get us? She said they were sitting in the gas station parking lot when they got the phone call, waiting on us. They were waiting on us, trying to decide who was going to be the person that had to go all the way back to Gurney, Illinois to pick up the goddamn kids. They were in a parking lot playing rock, paper, scissors. Meanwhile, we're in jail. We're in a fucking police station. Maria won't stop crying. And I'm mad as fuck that once again, I got tricked by the promise of an oatmeal cream pie.